I got my first computer when I was young, and I've always wanted to know how the inside works. Game programming is like car racing for the computer world, and that's where people with real strong skills really belong. In the computer science technology, it starts out with basic programming classes and then we move to more advanced classes. I'm actually taking two degrees because some of the classes and the degrees overlap. I'm taking the client-server degree plan, which is database programming for businesses and things of that nature and internet programming. And I'm also doing the graphics and simulation degree plan, which is very popular right now because it's actual game programming. My favorite classes are using the actual 3D software. We use 3D Studio Max, making models, designing characters, buildings, cars, weapons, anything that actually you see in the game that is a 3D render, that's the thing that I enjoy making the most. Most of the technologies on the campus compete in SkillsUSA. The people that do the best in the local runoff competitions get to go to the state competition, which this year was held in San Antonio. I competed in the SkillsUSA state competition and I got a gold medal, but the competition is only part of the SkillsUSA experience. You also get to be involved in community projects. We went to some of the housing projects in Waco and ran network cable and installed computers for them so that they would have computers to use to search for jobs jobs and do homework and things like that. I would describe the computer science technology program as a threefold program. We have basic computer programming which is application development. We have the gaming and simulation for artists which is game design and development from an artistic perspective. And then we have the game and simulation for programmers which is game design and development from the programming aspects, C++, Visual Basic building the games and the engines from the ground up. Programming is the most important part of computers. Without a program, the computer just sits there. And we take a student and we teach them what it took to create the operating system. They understand the basics of what's hidden in the background. A lot of community colleges and other universities teach you the theory of the process. Our students actually get to put their hands on the system and physically create something and have something that develops that can physically see. What we basically use the start off is to teach a student how to use what's called a Visual Studio. Visual Studio is a compiler. If they write the code, they have to have something that's going to take that code and create an application out of it. That's our basic foundation. From there we move over into a lot of the animation software. We have the MoCap Lab. If you look at games nowadays, they want it to be realistic. And the mocap allows a human figure to create the motions. And after they've created the motions, they can render a certain figure, uh, maybe turn into a monster or whatever. It allows it again to have realistic looks. Well, that's what the gaming industry wants. We also have an advanced simulation chair, which is used by students who create the games, such as flight simulation or racing, that they're then in the chair and have the controls that you would have in an actual aircraft or an actual race car. I uh, first started off at the University of Houston, and there the middle class I ever studied was 56 students. Contact with the computer didn't exist, so everything was spoken in lecture. Here, our normal classes are anywhere from 20 to 25. That allows each student to have contact with a system. We have a very good relationship with the company Forterra Inc. that's based out of California. They are a gaming company. They brought a male actor and a female actress here to TSTC. Our students were able to use our Vicon system. They got to capture 200 male motions in the morning, 200 female motions in the afternoon, take that data back to the classroom, clean it up. We then sent that to Forterra. They put it in their game engine, and those students actually had some working credits before they left the college. Austin recently did a survey, and they predicted that their need for employees by the year 2010 will grow by 250 percent. You're ready for the job. You don't have to have a lot of people holding your hand and taking you through the program because we have exposed you to all types of scenarios that you will face in the job industry. Even though the students are learning games and game development, the same type of software and training they're getting, it's also used for forensic animation, accident recreation, and military simulations so the students have a wide variety of employment opportunities when they come out of TSTC. 
As I get more experience in the uh, computer programming field, I hope to try to find a job in the graphics and game programming field because graphics is what I've always been passionate about. You get to make something that people really want for, that people are going to talk about in magazines, that kids are going to ask for on Christmas. Nobody tells their mom, I really want a copy of Microsoft Office 2007 for Christmas, but you know, kids all over can't wait for the next big game.